All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you, just like me. Uh, Don't forget about Modern Retro Radio. Uh, They're playing the new stuff by classic artists, and I'm going to be talking about a classic artist today that just dropped a song that you've got to hear. Um, It's vintage. It's amazing. Um, Also, folks, if you can support the channel via Patreon, I'd really appreciate that. Um, we're going to be talking about Paul Rogers, so I figured I would uh, showcase Lone Rider again. This is just spectacular. Um, it's my number one album from last year. Just number one. I was addicted to it. I listened to it all last summer, and I still listen to it because if you like that vintage Bad Company sound, uh, Lone Rider is the way to go. Uh, Their album, Sundown. Simon Kirk plays drums on this, which raises some questions about Bad Company. And I'm going to get into this here uh, with regards to Paul Rogers uh, doing a solo album. He has a new album coming out on the uh, revitalized Sun Records label. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? The album's called Midnight Rose. Uh, it will be released uh, via Primary Wave Sun Label Group. Um, Paul Rogers, uh, I always wonder, how come Bad Company isn't out there making music? Again, the franchise at this point would be Paul and Simon. Um, Boz, I believe, is no longer here. And then you've got um, Mick Ralphs, who I believe retired. Um But this is good news for Bad Company fans. Uh, The new single, which is out there, is called Living It Up. And if you listen to it, you're going to think you're back in the days of like straight shooter, running with a pack, that kind of thing. It's right in there, uh, musically. It sounds like a Bad Company song. Um, You know, this is Paul's first album since uh, his electric album back in 2000 so it's been a long wait uh it's only eight songs it is due out september 22nd now i had some issues with paul rogers (laughs) and i still kind of do um i just didn't like the way uh paul rogers uh essentially ignored brian howe when brian passed away and People were asking if Paul Rogers was okay because, you know, the algorithm triggered something like Bad Company Singer Dies, and uh, people started to wonder if it was Paul Rogers, and it's actually Brian Howe. And at that point, what do you do? You say something like, Brian Howe was in Bad Company from like, what, 1984 or 85 uh, maybe a little later than that. We'll say like 85 up until about 94 or 95 in that area. And it's just kind of sad that, you know, just mention the guy. Uh, you own the franchise now. Brian's not here to distract fans from the original old bad company. And for a couple of years, you know, Brian Howe was lobbying prior to his passing about doing this um, tour with Paul Rogers where Brian would open up and play all of uh, the Bad Company music that he was affiliated with and then, you know, let Paul do all of the Bad Company music that he is obviously famous for. And that would have been a great show. It never happened, and I'm sure uh, the people who you know, are in charge of this, uh, we're just like, nah, we're not going to do that. We don't want to confuse people. And look, Paul Rogers, uh, for better or worse, um, he is Mr. Bad Company. Also, if you're uh, really old like me, you remember Free with All Right Now, which uh, are they even playing that song on the radio anymore? Because that is one of the great songs in rock history, All, All Right Now. No? Yes, maybe. Uh, But Paul sounds the same. Um, So putting all that stuff about Brian Howe aside, which at some point, I guess, 
you uh, forgive or you forget and you move on. Um, this new song is just killer. It, this is at least two Holy Crap Batmans and maybe a third one. It's called Living It Up. It's from the new album, Midnight Rose. It says here, it grew from the sparks of ideas I had had. Uh, according to Paul Rogers, the sparks developed into a raging fire when the band and everyone involved brought their absolute A-game. He says, I think it's my best album to date. Interesting. And I hope you do as well. All the songs on Midnight Rose were written by Rogers, except Living It Up, which included contributions from his bassist Todd Ronning and drummer uh, Rick Fedick. Uh, the album was co-produced by Cynthia Rogers and Bob Rock and recorded at Roper Recording uh, and The Warehouse over the past 18 months. So yeah, Midnight Rose will be released on Sun Records. I guess Ian Hunter had put out his solo album via Sun Records. So that's the scoop on the new Paul Rogers album. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, I guess at this point, nobody is going to acknowledge Brian Howe. And uh, that's too bad. But uh, Paul is a legend. He is one of the few older guys who literally sounds as good as he did back in the day. He just does. Yeah, his voice has matured a little bit since his days with Free uh, when he was like, what, 20 years old or something? So he's 73. So 53 years later, he just sounds amazing. Uh, and, you know, there's nothing else really to say other than go listen to the track because uh, you'll really like it. And... Um, check out Lone Rider. Um, is this as good as a Bad Company album? Um, you'll have to decide for yourself. I really enjoyed this. Um, but, you know, it's it's not Bad Company. It's Steve Overland singing. Uh, but it is uh, Simon Kirk playing drums. And uh, they wrote some really great songs. So you're going to have to check that out. Uh, just Google Lone Rider Band and you'll get both of their albums, and hopefully, you know, you'll listen to them, put them in a folder and listen to them if you're not going to purchase a CD. I would definitely want these CDs in my collection, though. And um, don't forget about Modern Retro Radio. I'm obviously going to pitch the new Paul Rogers song to them as something that they should be playing, and my guess is they probably will be playing this uh, new track called Living It Up uh, because it's just so good. All right, uh, that's my video. Um, as far as Bad Company goes, um, that's a whole other issue. I'm not sure why Paul didn't decide to record a Bad Company album. It was rumored that this material was going to be a Bad Company album, but apparently it's a Paul Rogers album. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, I will see you soon.